Did the incursion falsify the entire meta? Now, this is actually more of a conversation piece, and it's a conversation that I've had with a fair few people, including people such as Junks, Toasty, Hutchler, and most notably, really, Rousey, because he is a big proponent of this, and this conversation actually goes all the way back to the introduction of the incursion. Obviously, when it first came out, people weren't too sure what to expect. A load of random builds were tried, tanking, healing, CC, high-end headhunting. There was a plethora of opinions and just general crap being thrown around and then the meta runners came in as always and we found that literally just strikers and a healer best way to do it easiest way to do it quickest way for being just overall generally efficient q youtube stepping in with our oh, clear incursion with ease x y z and it is it was essentially just look at all these weird and wacky striker builds so now within the more casual crowd when we talk about a meta build the vast majority of us just think strikers however with those that are and without sounding like an elitist prick a little bit more in the know when you say meta we think of this darn thing which obviously comes with its own variables and caveats but typically speaking when we talk about meta we're talking headhunter regulus whether this be high end or hunter's fury so when we talk meta we're very much more leaning towards that side of thing but within the more casual groups and this is an argument that i've had several times on reddit i really should stay away from reddit it brings out the worst in me as well as finding just random posts from random people and Normally, there's always a Rousey in there somewhere arguing with someone or something or just trying to provide data and correct misjudgments. And this all stems from something that I have seen so many times of people being just over and bored with the meta. But when they say this, they're literally just saying they don't want to play Strikers anymore. Strikers isn't the only meta. There are several there is a meta for healing. The only area really where there isn't technically a meta is for turret and drone and tanking because we then move into a variety of different conversations. Typically when we're talking meta it's how much damage we do in a certain scenario with the most optimal build and then what allows us and our team to do more damage. Now for this, we have CC and a variety of other different buff builds, and then the mechanic of doing the damage is just going to be a variety of DPS builds. That's really it. But even within just doing straight up DPS, Strikers isn't actually all that. Now before you all mark me as a heretic, hear me out, okay? I am fully aware that there are going to be a bunch of caveats to this, and we're basically just going down a little bit of a rabbit hole. However, in terms of overall performance at the top end, Negotiators is stronger. I mean, if we take a standard Strikers build, 4-piece Strikers, Cheska, Elmo, Coyotes versus Cheska, Coyotes, 4-piece Negotiators, and we're now using an F2000, this is their builds in a spreadsheet and their DPS. In terms of single target, Strikers is winning by a lot, but the moment we get one tag, Negotiators wins on body. If we get two tags, Negotiators is doing 50% more. 50% more. Now, this does come with the caveats of one, having a target-rich environment, two, remaining calm, cool, and collected under pressure, and actually tagging your enemies. Three, it does take a little bit longer because you've got to build up those stacks a little bit more. The stacks are on kill rather than on hit. Like, like I said, there's a bunch of caveats, but in terms of absolute top end performance negotiators beat strikers and by a, a fair amount it's, it's not a little bit so why then pray tell is it that when we talk meta no one mentioned negotiators why is it always strikers 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 why is it everyone's getting bored of strikers because all anyone ever posts about is strikers the answer is actually pretty easy strikers is which then leads into the next problem. Ease of use compensates for lack of knowledge. See, the problem here is that the absolute top end meta is what's considered to be like the absolute best build in the game is 
Headhunter, Fury or High End Headhunter, both paired with Regulus. Both of these builds are with the correct skill set, team management and just general knowledge of one, spawns, two, positioning, three, just overall just player skill. You can in fact just trivialize the vast majority of content from legendary open world random missions, the time trials we get during league activities. It can all be trivialized. The only real areas where Hunter's Fury, um, particularly paired with Headhunter, Regulus, or even the high end Regulus Headhunter build don't really come into play is going to be some of the legendaries, although in certain areas swapping to a Regulus Headhunter build is going to have benefit particularly if you can get like i said to a spawn point or the raids slash incursion and typically when we do use regulus within the raids it's paired with a very different style of build but essentially when it comes to regulus you're finding caveat areas of where regulus doesn't work rather than finding areas where it does work i touched on this in a previous video of saying what exactly really is the meta or a meta and when it comes to games such as the Division 2, it really is kind of like best in slot. And when it comes to best in slot, the next logical question really should be, where? Where is this build the so-called best? The standard go-to strikers build that we all know and love. Most people would argue this is the meta, the best in slot. Again, where? Now, if you have been watching this video, um, and paying attention to it, you should actually notice that throughout this entire gameplay, I am running strikers, but I'm not running this variant. I'm running a different variant, and this different variant basically mitigates my need to hit max stacks. The highest I really get is maybe about 80 to 90 stacks. I spend the vast majority of my time around halfway. So if we compare the build that I'm utilizing in this video at the halfway point versus that Elmo build at the halfway point, we can, in fact, hopefully see that the build I'm using in this video, although it's not much better, it is still better. But the real beauty of this build is just the simple fact that if we just negate stacks altogether, where this build is using Vigilance, we're always going to have that 25% total weapon damage. So even with like, before we even start building striker stacks, the build I'm using in this video is so much more powerful. Then considering we're going to be building stacks at a pretty much a very similar rate, it literally takes about 90 stacks on the, what people would, generally refer to as the meta strikers build to actually even compete with this one by which point this build is also going to be at 90 stacks so until they're at like maximum stacks this build basically wins 100 percent of the time why is this important well it goes back to the best in slot but where for smaller shorter engagements territory controls etc etc an engagement where you don't hit maximum stacks that 4P Strikers, Cheska Chess with Obliterate and Coyote's Mask actually technically isn't the meta because there is a better example of what we can use in that scenario. Now, before someone asks, that build looks like this. It's 4P Strikers, the Gift, the Sacrifice, and I'm using an F2000 with the Preservation talent. So I don't even actually have a damage talent on this. So if I were to use a damage talent, how much more powerful would it be? I do pair this with the Gunner Specialization. So essentially, I'm getting 20% armor on kill or 30% if I get a headshot. The beauty of this build is it is less reliant on stacks. I have more immediate damage compared to what a Strikers build would have up 40 percent more and until it hits maximum stacks it actually outperforms your standard 4p strikers cheska chest coyote mask build when it does hit maximum stacks it kind of stops so for longer engagements legendary etc etc i wouldn't recommend it but for missions dcd headquarters being a small one as well as just generally running around the open world this vastly outperforms it vastly outperforms it now this annoyingly does also come with the caveat that basically every youtuber slaps the word the meta on pretty much every video which does kind of lead into the whole issue of well what is the real meta and hopefully i can be addressing this with the help of hutch and rousey in an upcoming video um, i do plan on getting them involved but hopefully this also does kind of alleviate a lot of what people would consume to be just generally bored of the meta in the meantime though have fun good luck don't die bad for the health